uh, Jason Holliday said, take him home and calm him down. I'll wash him up, calm him down, and, and then y'all come back. Then I went, they were gone longer, so I went and got them. Okay. And, uh, All right. Well, here's my business card. Um, if you have any questions, you can call me there at my office. We're going to we're gonna take Ty down to the Cabazon station, interview him there, and um, I'll call the house from there and let you know what's going to be happening. Okay. Okay, once we're done uh, getting a statement from him. Um, that, that's, that's our one of ours. Another one of yours. Yeah. And then, uh, so... At what I would recommend point, is you and Jason just go on home right now. At some point, mm-hmm. um, a lawyer will probably intervene here, and that will be because uh, I'm a government teacher. Mm-hmm. One of my graduates is a young man by the name of Brian Floyd, mm-hmm. who used to be Rod Pacheco's senior field executive. And when Rod got out of politics, um, when when I went back and got Ty and Jason said, come on, we need to come over because they'll come talk to you. Mm-hmm. Um, I called Brian and said, send him a lawyer. Because... Who's Brian? Brian is Pacheco's ex- ex-executive. Okay. When, when Pacheco wasn't back as an attorney general, as a... When he was an uh, assemblyman. Yeah, and, and no, Pacheco will not intervene in this. Rod doesn't do that. We don't ask Rod to do that. I wouldn't ask anything to ask Rod. Okay. He's, he's a really professional guy. I don't even know Pacheco. He's, he's a stand-up guy. Mm-hmm. Real stand-up. But, um... Okay. Well, we'll be down at Cabazon Station yeah. um, if you have any questions. But in that, I'll, I'll definitely give you a call and keep you in the loop. The worst thing happens in all of this... Um, you had a mutual combatant that got out and changed categories when he had a heart attack at home. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's what we need to figure out exactly what happened. Yeah, because they... I think if you ask Jason, Jason saw him leave, saw him drive it off. He left of his own wheels. Mm-hmm. And, but yeah, what are you doing to exert that heart if that is how old you are and why are you challenging the mm-hmm. kid? But... Well, we're trying to get to the bottom of I'm really concerned that Ty's going to get fucked at all this just because of his procedure. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he's, he's got into technicality. Well, and I'm, I'm here really just to get concerned. to the truth of everything. Exactly. Okay. I don't take sides. I'm, I'm well, that's the way it ought to be. And the worst thing for all of us is that in every truth, there's a little bit of a lie, and every lie, there's a little bit of a truth. We have a representative from the DA's office that's here that will also yeah. be rep, uh, yeah. uh, monitoring. Um, and uh, an so I know this so. whole nonsense is going to be just. I'm just taking one step at a time. Each phase got blown if, out of hand. If you want to go home with uh, Jason and do me a favor, if the if the shirt is in the laundry, just turn the laundry off. Um, we'll, find, we'll find out what happened to the shirt. J- and just don't touch it. Just leave it. That way we can go and collect it, so we can show in our report that on good faith you yeah. you know you weren't trying to destroy evidence or anything like that. Because um, Mama would have thought in terms of blood gets a cold water wash before it's exactly. dead. Okay. If she had that soap or something. Right. You know, so that kind of stuff. So on um, um, my request, if, if you go home right now, yeah. go ahead and stop the washer or do whatever you need to do just to secure that T-shirt yeah. or his clothing right. so that we could collect it as part of the procedure um, in that angle. Okay? Yeah. All right, Mr. Reddish. Thank you. Well, thank you I, I for your cooperation. Really want to meet you. <laughs> I, I know, I, I know. This These is not how you meet people. Exactly. It's like when Doug was forced into the team. This ain't how you want to meet the governor. Exactly. You know, when your house burns exactly. down, exactly. and five guys get burned alive. Well, I can tell you that I'm just going to look for the truth here. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to take sides. I mean, they just want to get to the bottom of everything. Okay. Okay. Update time is. Uh, 1405 hours, August 5th, 2007. Uh, Jason Holliday said, take him home and calm him down. Uh, wash him up, calm him down, and, and then y'all come back. Then I went, they were gone longer, so I went and got them. Okay. And, uh, All right, well, here's my business card. Um, if 
you have any questions, you can call me there at my office. We're gonna we're gonna take Ty down to the Cabazon station, interview him there, and um, I'll call the house from there and let you know what's gonna be happening. Okay. Okay. Once we're done uh, getting a statement from him. Um, that, that's that's our one of ours. Another one of yours. Yeah. And then uh, so. At what I would recommend point, is you and Jason just go on home right now. At some point, mm -hmm. um, a lawyer will probably intervene here, and that will be because uh, I'm a government teacher. Mm -hmm. One of my graduates is a young man by the name of Brian Floyd, mm -hmm. who used to be Rod Pacheco's senior field executive. And when Rod got out of politics, um, when, when I went back and got Ty and Jason said, come on, we need to come over because they'll come talk to you. Mm -hmm. um, I called Brian and said, send him a lawyer. Because... Who's Brian? Brian is Pacheco's ex-executive. Ex okay. when, when Pacheco wasn't back as an attorney general. As a, when he was an assemblyman. Yeah, and, and no, Pacheco will not intervene in this. Rod doesn't do that. We don't ask Don to do that. I wouldn't ask anything about Don. Okay. He's, he's a really professional guy. I don't even know Pacheco. He's, he's a stand-up guy. Mm -hmm. Real stand-up. But, um... Okay, well, we'll be down at Cabazon Station yeah. um, if you have any questions. But in that, I'll, I'll definitely give you a call and keep in the loop. The worst thing happens in all of this, um, you had a mutual combatant that got out and changed categories when he had a heart attack at home. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's what we need to figure out exactly what happened. Yeah, because they... I think if you ask Jason, Jason saw him leave, saw him driving off. He left of his own wheels. Mm -hmm. And, but yeah. What are you doing to exert that hard if that is how old you are? And why are you challenging the damn kid? But well, we're gonna I'm, to get to the bottom I'm, of it. I'm really concerned that Ty's gonna get fucked in all this just because of his procedure, mm -hmm. uh, because he's he's gone into technicality. Well, and I'm I'm here really just to get concerned. to the truth of everything. Exactly. Good. Okay. I don't take sides. I'm, I'm well. That's the way it ought to be. And the worst thing for all of us is that in every truth there's a little bit of a lie, and every lie there's a little bit of a truth. We have a representative from the DA's office that's here that will also yeah. be rep, uh, yeah. uh, monitoring um, and, uh, and overseeing so the whole investigation. This so. whole nonsense is going to be just... No, just taking one step at a time. The phase got blown if, out of hand. If you want to go home with uh, Jason and do me a favor, if the, if the shirt is in the laundry, just turn the laundry off. Um, we'll, don't, find, we'll find out what happened to the shirt. And just don't touch it, just leave it. That way we can go and collect it, so we can show in our report that on good faith you, yeah. you know, you weren't trying to destroy evidence or anything like that. Because um, Mama would have thought in terms of blood gets a cold water wash before exactly. the steps. Okay. If you get that so or something. Right. You know, so it's that kind of stuff. So on um, on my request, if, if you go home right now, yeah. go ahead and stop the washer or do whatever you need to do just to secure that T-shirt or his clothing right. so that we can collect it as part of the procedure. Um, in that angle. Okay? Yeah. All right, Mr. Reddish. Um, thank you. Well, thank I, I, you I for your cooperation. I really want to meet you. <laughs> I, I know. I, I know. This, this is not how you meet people. The, exactly. This is like when Doug Schwartz and Schwarzenegger came here. This ain't how you want to meet the governor. Exactly. You know, when your house burns exactly. down and five guys get burned alive. Well, I can tell you that I'm just going to look for the truth here. Like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to take sides. I mean, they just want to get to the bottom of everything. Okay? Okay. Date time is uh, 14.05 hours, August 5th, 2007.